Now, what I want to talk about is an alternative method to find the second value in a solution. Now, sometimes it will be easier, as you will see in these examples, it will be easier to find the value of the second variable in your solution by using the elimination method twice. And we will see why it would be easier to do the elimination method twice instead of substituting uh, one of the variables in the equation to find the other um, variable. So we're going to start out with this um, equation uh, system here. You have negative 4x plus 3y equals 2 and 5x minus 2y equals negative 3. Okay? So again you want to start out in the same way. These are in the standard form. So the next thing you will do is check and see if you have uh, your coefficients uh, as opposites of one another. And of course we don't have any of the coefficients that are opposite. So you know, again, we are going to have to multiply both our equations with some number. Now, you will see both your x and y have opposite signs on them, so it really doesn't matter which um, variable you want to eliminate. Let's say we start out by eliminating y. Okay, we will eliminate y. So in this case, um, what do we need to multiply each one of our equations with? So if you're trying to eliminate y, your numbers are 3 and 2, and 3 and 2, 6 will be the common number between these two um, values here. 6 goes into 3, and it also goes in 2. So let's see, we can multiply our first equation by 2, because 2 times 3 will give me 6. For our second equation, we can multiply it by 3, and 3 times 2 again gives us 6. And since these already have opposite signs, you don't need to make these numbers in the front uh, have a negative sign because that already is being taken care of right here in the equation itself. So let's go ahead and multiply these two equations and that will give you negative 8x plus 6y equals 4. Again, remember to multiply that 2 into everything on each side of your full equation. Same thing with the second one. This will give you 15x minus 6y equals negative 9. Now you can see, as I was saying, your equation already takes care of the positive and negative, and now you have your opposite coefficients on the y. So once we go ahead and add this, negative 8x plus 15x gives you 7x the y's get canceled out and 4 uh, added with negative 9 will give you negative 5. So you end up with 7x equals negative 5. To get x by itself we divide both sides by 7 and that will give you x equals negative 5 sevenths. Now as you can see for our x value we ended up with negative 5 over 7. Now, if you try to substitute this into any one of your original equations, that's just going to make it a little bit harder, you know, considering that your x is a fraction. So that's the reason why, instead of using x and substituting it, we will go ahead and eliminate one more time. And this time, since we want to find the value of y, we will go ahead and eliminate x. So this is where that second elimination comes into place. All right, so we want to, this time we're trying to eliminate x variable, okay? So if you want to eliminate x and keep the y, you have negative 4x and a positive 5x. What value would be common to negative 4 uh, or basically to 4 and 5? If you think about it, 20 will go into 4 and 20 will also go into 5. So if I take my first equation to get a 20 as my uh, coefficient here, I will have to multiply this by 5. 
because again 5 times 4 will give me 20 5x minus 2y equals negative 3 your second equation again we want x to have a coefficient of 20 so we multiply this guy by 4 and that will give you negative 20x for the first equation and positive 20x for the second one again since the original equation had the negative and positive you didn't have to make these numbers here uh, have a negative on them all right just like we did earlier let's go ahead and multiply our equations here this will give you negative 20x uh, 5 and 3 will of course give you 15y and 5 times 2 is 10 your second equation will give you 20x uh, 4 and negative 2 will give you negative 8y and the last one will give you a negative 12 now if you go ahead and add these two equations your x's eliminate they cancel out with your y you have 15y minus 8y 15 minus 8 of course gives you 7y and then 10 minus 12 is negative 2 do the same thing divide both sides by 7 get y by itself and you end up with y equals negative 2 sevenths and you can see with both our x and y we ended up with fractions in them so that's the reason why we use double elimination here and again as I always say it is a good practice to check your answers okay so check your solution and see what you end up with for negative 5 sevenths and negative 2 sevenths after you check your answer you will see that you end up with a true statement for both the equations and we can say your solution set is the ordered pair negative 5 sevenths and negative 2 sevenths okay I want to look at one more example here and this is also the alternative method where we use double elimination so we're looking at 9x plus 4y equals negative 3 and 6x plus 7 equals negative 6y now if you look uh, carefully at your second equation you will see that it is not in the standard form so the first thing you will do is write your second equation in standard form so let's do that first you have 6x plus 7 equals negative 6y so the first thing we do is move the 6y over to this side and that will give you 6x plus 6y plus 7 equals 0. And now move the 7 uh, to the other side. And there you go. You have your 6x plus 6y equals negative 7. And now your system will look like 9x plus 4y equals negative 3 and then 6x plus 6y equals negative 7 now again you can choose whichever variable you want to eliminate first and in this example let's go ahead and start with uh, the x variable first we'll go ahead and eliminate x first okay so Let's eliminate x. Now to eliminate x, again you want to see what uh, common factor can you find between 9 and 6. Um, let's see. If you take the number 18, 18 goes into 9 and 18 also goes into 6. So looking at our equations here, 
what do you need to multiply the first equation with and what number do you multiply into the second one now, if you want to make this 18 you have to multiply 9 with 2 uh, to make this uh, coefficient 18 you multiply 6 with the 3 now both 9 and 6 are positive coefficients which again tells me we need to make one of the uh, either the 2 or the 3 a negative and I'm going to make my 3 a negative here and let's go ahead and solve this and eliminate our x which will give you 18x plus 8y equals negative 6 and the second equation will give you negative 18x minus 18y and a positive 21. Now you can go ahead and add your two uh, equations and of course x eliminates 8y minus 18y will give you a negative 10y and negative 6 and the 21 will give you a positive 15 again go ahead and divide both sides by negative 10 and you will end up with y equals negative now 15 and 10 you can reduce that by 5 so that will give you a negative three halves and again you will see you ended up with a fraction as value for your y so instead of substituting we're going to use elimination again and this time we will eliminate the by variable okay so if you're eliminating y again these are your original uh, equation so if you want to eliminate y you need to find a number that is common between 4 and 6 uh, that you can use that to uh, get rid of the y now between 4 and 6 you can use the number 12 12 will go into 4 and 12 also goes into 6 so again you need to multiply the first and the second variable um, not the variable I'm sorry your equations by certain numbers so if you have 4y you want to make that a 12 you need to multiply this by a 3 if you have a 6y to make that a 12 you need to multiply your equation by 2 again since both of these are positive uh, coefficients make one of the two uh, numbers here negative and we'll make our negative 2 uh, be over there and let's go ahead and multiply these you will end up with 27x plus 12y equals negative 9 and this will of course give you a negative 12x a negative 12y and a positive 14. Go ahead and add your two equations together and let's see 27 minus 12 will give you a 15x your y of course cancels out and then negative 9 and 14 will give you a 5. Okay, you still need to solve for x so if you have 15 x equals 5 divide both sides by 15 and you end up with x equals one third okay so you will go back check your solutions into the original equations you have x equals one third and we had found y as negative 3 halves right over here. So once you check your solutions again, you should end up with a true statement for both the equations. And you can conclude that your solution set is the ordered pair 1 third and negative 3 halves.